Welcome back to the channel guys, another video for you today. We're gonna to give you an update on how Venom's doing. Some of you yeah. may or may not know that she suffers from a condition called elbow dysplasia. I made a video about it and I feel I've got a lot of subs off the back of that video. Mm. So this is an update for you and if you don't know, we're gonna show you. So yeah, we're out for a walk today, so let's go. Come on in. Come Babu. Yes, girl, come on. So first things first, I wanna just let you know that Venom's doing really good. She's doing well. She's got um, a, a really nice form of life. She's healthy. Um, she did undergo surgery for the dysplasia that I spoke about. So if you haven't seen the first video about it, be sure to check it out. She's got scars on both of her legs. There's one there. This is the other one there. Fucking hell, boy. See, it's basically from there all the way up to there. Mm. And so what had happened was during the, on, on her first um, surgery, they put an, a screw into one of their elbows because it was like, it was, broken into loads of fragments so they had to hold it down with a screw she started wobbling a bit i noticed that her movement wasn't great i took her for an x-ray but they saw the screw had been had started to come out a little bit so they took it completely out on the second surgery which i haven't updated you guys about no one no one knows about this on, on the previous videos uh, as well i said that i put her on a low protein diet so she's more light on her feet and since then she's doing really good she didn't have yeah brilliant her movement's great um obviously i can't bring her out too much i'm trying to say 20 minutes at a time but um, again, I could chuck her in the car, cruise around with her. She loves it, do you know what I'm trying to say? She's, she goes swimming as well, she goes hydrotherapy. Initially, when I purchased her, she's come off championship lines. You know what I mean? Mum and dad are both champions, dual, dual champion breeding. Um, she's beautiful, Venom, right? Honestly, man. Beautiful, like, isn't she's it? The, one of the best looking dogs I've seen, do you know what yeah. I'm trying to say? It's a pleasure mm. to own, I love her. She can't be part of the program due yeah. to the fact that she's got this. What I mean by that is that she, if she has a litter, or if I if I decided to breed from her, she could have had risk passing it on. But this is what I was just chatting to you off camera about. Like, is it something genetic, or is it like you know some dogs can just be injured, right? I mean, it can happen from an environmental uh, stress as well. I mean, you know, running your dog up and down your stairs, yeah. letting it on and off your sofas really early, um, just normal jumping around, you know, stuff like that is yeah. not good for, for for your pup. You have to remember that before they get to 12 months old, the bones aren't fused together. Right. Yeah, it's just cartilage and muscle. So she's walking fine now or? She walks fine, she's cool. She's still got a bit of a wobble, bit of a limp. 15, 20 minutes, she's done. Yeah. But um, look, she's out now, she's standing on her feet. She still runs about. Yeah, yeah. look, I'll show you. I'm not trying to be cocky, but she moves a lot better than some dogs that I've seen that haven't got this place here. <laughs> I'm not even capping. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, pretty. Going through what I went through with Venom has sort of made me hot on this joints uh, uh, topic. It's kind of made me a bit more vigilant on how much food they eat, how big and heavy they are, running up and down the stairs, on and off the sofas. You know, even when the pups jump at your legs, I've never let the pups just jump back down. I always place them back down. And it's because of what she went through that's made me hot on it. So I feel that, you know what I mean? I've got a lot of information that I feel I need to share to new owners. You should be creating your dog. You want to avoid any jumping around, up and down, skipping around. You have to remember the bones don't fuse together till they're a year old. You might have noticed that Belize and flow of my previous videos are really slimmed down and skinny. Why I've done that is to keep them as light as possible until they yeah. turn a year. It's just like humans, isn't it? Well, like, it's just, know, it's just put on weight, it's I'll be honest, yeah, I'll be honest, it's almost like, it's just common sense. People buy these dogs, yeah, and it's almost a status thing. You know what I'm trying to say? One of you, you want to be the biggest dog and they're overfeeding it and it's just detrimental to their, to, to their health in the long run. Just keep your pups light, there's no rush. And yeah, if you want your dog to have a long and healthy life and you know, healthy joints and be able to move correct even when it's six, seven, eight years old, mm. you want to make sure that they're light early on. Roughly, what, what do you reckon you spend uh, on? All venom? in all, including medication, including the um, x-rays, including both surgeries, I'm about 10,000 pound in. 10 grand? 10 grand, yeah. And it costs roughly 10 grand for the dog as well? No, she costs about 15K. So she's cost me 25K. I mean, like, you know what it is? At the end of the day, um, it's a bit mad. So uh, what's, so, uh, so. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to add, she's not insured either. Uh, none of my dogs are. Bullies cannot be insured legally in the country. I, th I think you can ginnels it basically. You can sort of say, oh yeah, they're, mm. you know, they're American Bulldogs or a different breed, but they won't pay out when it comes to time to get in uh, if anything goes wrong and you, you've got a claim. Right. That's another thing I want to say really. I mean, you spend so much on your dog. It's a lot of money that you're putting into it. I see a lot of people doing it just about scraping money for the dog. And then when stuff goes wrong, they haven't got the money to, 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 to look after the dog. I'm trying to say they're making GoFundMe pages. I mean, bro, like, first of all, yeah, you got to make sure you can afford the dog. Yeah, secondly, you want to make sure you can afford to maintain the dog. Thirdly, you want to have the knowledge behind it. You want to make sure, you know, you do the things that I say in terms of not letting your dog run up and up and down the stairs. You know, all the stuff that I spoke yeah. about. You've got to be hot on it. You've got to look at... It's a mixed breed. Does that make sense? It's made up of... Um, uh, bulldogs, made up of American staffs, it's made up of some even Mastiff. The joints are something that aren't really solidified on this breed. They're overlooked. 
a lot of people do health testing and elbow testing which is really good and eventually if you have a five generation pedigree with health tested dogs that's what you need to aim for uh, eventually like if I, I, I could have a health tested dog bred with a health tested dog doesn't mean that the parents weren't health tested and the parents before that it could yeah. always skip through a long story short uh, anybody with an XR bully earlier on be mindful of the joints 100 percent 100 percent yeah, yeah don't, it's, it's not a rush it's not a race make sure they're not running up and down stairs make sure they're not running up on and off sofas general jumping and high impact on their elbows environmental stresses can mash them up just as much as genetic like i said she is genetic but what I went through with her, I've learned everything I need to know when it comes to joints. So, so when you took the dog in, were they advising to put the dog down? Because I noticed it so early on in her life, they were able to do this extensive surgery required at that age because her bones were still growing, they're still developing. So if you couldn't have the surgery done, then what? No, I've, I've seen, listen, I'm not going to try and name anybody in that, but I see videos of dogs walking without a limping. They can clearly see that the dog's got an issue. They're just not right. working on it and it's still breeding from it. Right. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So. Yeah, it's about being truthful to yourself. It's about being truthful to your dog. It's about being honest. And do you know what I'm trying to say? Not being a sleaze bag, basically, bro. That's yeah. what it exactly is, isn't it? So that's it, guys. Another video there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, as requested, I will be doing a full in-depth food review. A lot, of, a lot of you guys want to know what my dogs eat and what they don't eat. So yeah, we're going to give you a full in-depth review of that. A lot of you may or may not notice that I've changed my Instagram name to Raw Windsor Bullies. Initially, I always wanted to rebrand. Hence why I've called my YouTube Rule Wins of Bullies and I followed suit with, the, uh, with my Instagram page. So follow it up, Rule Wins of Bullies. Um, yeah, I've got loads of pictures and content on there, daily video uploads and stuff like that. So yeah, Websites now in motion as well websites, for inquiries. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, I've got loads of requests, like hundreds of requests. And you know, due to Instagram policies, I can't discuss things on Instagram. I don't want to get shut down. So I've got a website getting constructed right now. It's nearly done. So once that's sorted, I can divert all traffic there and have conversations and chats about any inquiries that you may have. So yeah, be sure to check that out. Rule wins the bullies. Like, subscribe and share.